everybody, welcome back to another video this week looking at the uniforms and heraldry of the Skaven. So last week we looked at Clan Asian, that was pretty cool, one of my personal favourites. So what's up next week for the uniforms and heraldry? So this week we're going to be looking at Clan Pestilence. Probably, these, these guys used to be one of my least favourite of the four big Skaven clans. Uh, but simply because I didn't really know enough about them. Over time, and since they have the only book for Skaven in Age of, Sk Age, Age of, Skidmar, Age of Sigmar now, um, I have grown to like them a lot more. Um, so let's have a look. The Plague Monks of Clan Pestilence are disciples of disease and decay. Zealots and who dedicate themselves to spreading plague and corruption in the name of the Great Horned Rat. Clan Pestilence, pox ridden brethren are recognisable for their filth encrusted robes and of course their unmistakably ma <laughs> rancid odour. The scrolls, staves and tomes of plague monks are covered in pestilent runes and their foul banners and totems often depict scaven skulls or diseased heads with weeping what is that word? With weeping baboos and oozing sores. Though they are usually powerful now, members of Clan Pestilence were once outcasts. The return of meteoric and the meteoric rise of Clan Pestilence plunged the Skaven into a great civil war, from which the clan emerged as a pre eminent power in Skaven Blight, seizing several seats in the Council of Thirteen. The monastery of Clan Pestilence build built within the undercity is now the largest of the clan's unwholesome dwellings outside of their Southlands stronghold. Wow, so kind of like an underdog story maybe with these guys just a little bit. But these are... The, I like to call these like the Nurgle guys of Skaven. Um, they're really awesome to look at in pictures definitely. The artwork can be fantastic. Um, so here we have plague priest mounted on a giant pox rat that is a fantastic idea the image looks fantastic that big giant rat you can see that he's like stitched at the stomach and everything and all the pox is all around him and um, the distinctive battle chant of plague months is accompanied by the buzzing of great clouds of black bodied flies another favorite icon of clan pestilence cool so here we have the bringer of the word Um, obviously like the main colour to go with these is green. Um, the banner here is very, it's a very colourful one. It's kind of a mixture of dark green, light green, red. And then you have your imagery of a decayed rat and the red kind of poxes around it. So you can have a lot of fun with these banners. They look really nice. Uh, the plague monks or the plague bears, or not plague bears, plague sensor bears I think they are on the bottom. Um, so you can kind of go for your dark green, a really kind of faded, kind of greenish brown, really light grey brownish. Uh, the purple one, I'm not too fond of that. Maybe if it was like a really high rope, so you'd only have like maybe five guys with a different kind of robe, coloured robes on them. Kind of like a split, no, not different coloured, but like a purple, that's an obvious, obvious different choice. Um, well, it looks like a warpstone staff, that looks really cool. And then over to the next page. Whoa. A plague furnace is a disease ridden altar of the great horned rat and an unholy pulpit for a powerful plague priest. These mighty war machines are covered in runes and foul sig sigils dedicated to the vile skaven deity. They are pushed into battle by congregation of chanting plague monks. The machines giant plague centers boil with fortified fumes and lethal conjugations. That's a... Uh, I've said, like, I don't have this model, but it's pretty impressive. Um, obviously, it has the Plague Priest here in the front. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking at it. I went a bit quiet here for a second. But you can see the runes going on along the top. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we have Clan Pestilence are forever inventing new ways to spread their uh, con connotation of foul diseases. The plague clop catapult is such a device. They are lonesome war machines with great wheels, adorned with pennants and runes, mounting torsion powered arms that hurl putrid mixtures of disease soaked corpses, semi congealed poisons, and with a trace of warpstone. That's a pretty foul mix right there. Um, so I'd imagine that's another plague priest, maybe with it. Looks like he has like a funny looking staff with a skull and everything. His robes are slightly different. We have the kind of more of a yellowy color 
which is which is nice. I kind of like that yellowy kind of yellow yellow and green will kind of fit along with these very nice. We have plague chanters on the bottom. Here you can see a lot of poxes, a lot of bells on these guys as well. And the banner guy there at the end, holding a bone for his weapon. The soil habits of the plague months are most commonly putrid green colors. So the soil habits of the plague ones are commonly putrid green so when they get their robes are they like a different color and they get so bad that they start to turn green with plagues and pus and everything it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty gruesome sight again on the bottom we can see some banners again they're really nice to look at although they're meant to be putrid but it's just a bright the mixture kind of a bright green and a light green works really well you have all your symbols on it um, all kind of torn and tattered the one at the end is really nice kind of the white and it looks like the warp stone um, well I suppose it could be like a plague spreading out across the banner that's what it's meant to represent with a symbol on the inside yeah it looks really nice there are banners um, maybe it's because I'm a little bit biased towards using the colour green it's one of my favourite colours of paint it looks really nice but uh, definitely a colourful army to look at Um. Their blades, the only kind of blades you can see are, are a few little daggers here and there. Um, they're all, but the first two that we've seen on the first page, their blades are like rusted up and everything. Even the tail on the plague, pe on the plague priest mounted on the giant pox rat. He has kind of little spikes sticking out of his tail. Looks like he really looks like he's really plague ridden. His skull his face has like a bit of his skull sticking out. He has spikes coming out of the back of him. So that was clan pestilence. <laughs> Looking at those guys for too long will definitely turn you off your dinner. But I think the colours for them work really well. You can do your dark green to light green. You can do your your kind of dark brown. Anything that kind of looks like soiled or dirty that's like plague ridden it will work for them their colors are fantastic you can even go to a yellow a really kind of darkish pale looking yellow that could really work as well um anything to kind of complement the color of the warp stone because that's going to be a big thing with them um with the plague claw catapult what was it wrong the plague furnace that has a big huge lump of warp stone swinging around over so it's definitely something like a nice centerpiece to base your colors around um, but as I said, that, they were one of my least favourite of the big clans, but now I've really grown to kind of appreciate them and what they are. Um, the colours, their banners are fantastic looking in this, you know, they were really nice. Um, so maybe there's something I would like to do in the future. But anyway, if you guys like clan pestilence and you like the he uniforms and the heraldry book, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of it. Hit the like button and once again subscribe if you haven't. See you guys next video.